how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Alright guys, I found my way on top of the nether, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to show you guys my techniques for building a vault. So, um, there was recently some problems with some people finding my vault, and uh, somehow there was bedrock all around it, and, you know, some of those, like, things, I don't really know how bedrock got around my entire vault because I did not spawn that in on Factions Green, but you know what, it's whatever, no big deal, it's a thing of the past, I'll get through it. So um, today's episode, we are going to show you guys how to, well, I'm going to show you guys my techniques of how to build, or how to uh, sort of make a strong bedrock slash obsidian vault. So the main things that you guys are going to be worried about, um, throughout this video, I'm actually going to be buying more stacks of obsidian from people because I only have, like, this plus another, let's see how many I have in my F home. So let's see, I have another, let's see, 63, and I have another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like, 6 stacks in my F home. So I'm going to be buying obsidian throughout this video from people, so... Yeah, let's uh, get this going. So I'm basically going to, I have all this stack of cobblestone because I'm, I'm going to show you guys some methods as to uh, stop people from the TP glitches, stop people from the enderpearl gl glitches. Um, this is going to mainly be for the vaults that are located in the nether, especially on top of the nether like this, as there is already is a base layer of obsidian on the bottom like so. But uh, yeah, I'm going to mark this out at first, so I don't, I don't want my vault to actually be this big, but just imagine these walls right here, like these uh, cobblestone walls, I'm going to make this go all the way up to the sky, like to the ceiling, which is Y256, and then I'm also going to make these walls go all the way up to the sky, Y256, so I'm going to have to buy a bunch of cobblestone from the shop, but you know, cobblestone isn't too expensive, that's why I'm using it, but the main defense, like if they do manage to break through into this vault, will be uh, obsidian slash bedrock, uh, what's it called, bedrock blocks. So hold on, let me write a message, buying, I, I bought three stacks already, buying 27 stacks of obsidian, 15k each stack. PM me, please. All right, guys. So yeah, um, let's get started. So I'm gonna mark out the the size of my vault first, and I'm actually gonna do that using. All right, so TPA Stig ND. So uh, I'm just gonna wait for him to let me uh, TP to him. So let's see. Wait. Oh, I don't want to take it without knowing how much. So he gave me a stack, pastage, no, 15,000. I have only, I have 850,000, so I'll have enough to buy the stacks. Plus, I'm, I might be getting another pigment spawner very soon, so let's keep on a lookout for that. So I'm going to mark out how big I want the actual vault to be using these chests, so I kind of know how far to make it. So the pillow, I need 27 stacks. I'll be getting those soon. So let's mark it out. I actually want like um, sort of, let's say two chests each here. So, like so. So it's it's actually gonna. So my room. So imagine this, guys. This is gonna be the defenses to my vault. Um, if you guys would like, I'm going to release the coordinates of this vault to my viewers. So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. You know, I'll put I'll put a bunch of prop four sets in here because I do get a lot of uh, prop four sets from my kits, my donation kits. So I'll put those in here and give you guys uh, something good to raid. Actually, I'm gonna move this. Hold on. Do I have a? Yeah, I have an axe right here. Uh, let's move this. Let's put this here for a sec. I'm gonna move this in one so I can so I can make this actually evened out. So yeah, I'm gonna pl I'm planning to have four walls. So it'll be two. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 12 on one wall and then 12, 12, 12. So that's that, that's a total of, what, 48 chests. And that'll be good enough for the size of vault that I want. So that's what I'm going to do for now. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Oh, I'm out of chests. Wait, can I make more? Let me go slash back. Yeah, so the slash... Oh, that doesn't do that. So the slash back command, guys, is available to the Diamond Plus donators on MCMMO. So make sure you guys do donate. Uh, Donate.thearchon.net. We do allow you to use slash back, and it's really helpful for rating. It's us uh, it's useful for episodes such as this where I'm basically just teleporting back and forth. Let's tell this again. Uh, where is it? 
slash back. Oh wait, no, doesn't work. Home vault. So there's one two one two one two, uh, one two one two one two, and then the next chest set. Let's make a wall right here. I'm gonna make. So this is gonna be my first layer of obsidian wall, basically right here. And as as you guys can imagine, if you guys are gonna try to raid this, it will take some time. And of course, I only have a couple of pieces of obsidian since we only recently got the bedrock rank in. But I'm gonna be slowly changing um, one by one as soon as the kit cooldowns are in place. Like these uh, actual these actual chests, I'm gonna or these actual obsidian rocks, I'm gonna change these into bedrock pieces as as we go. So yeah, let's get this started. I'm gonna I want to finish out the actual main portion of um of how i how big i want the vault to be so let's go um see i like these people blue swag he's got he's uh he's actually taking the time because he saw that i needed f home he ne I, he saw that i needed these uh the obsidian stacks so he's mining for me so buying i still i need 26 stacks i'm just too lazy to change up the message what do i need again i need more chests uh wood supplies let's just make this all into chests make this into chests real quickly so yeah this is um i'm not really showing you guys how i'm going to make the entire base layout because if i do release the cords to this base I don't want you guys to know everything and everything on, as in like I don't want you guys to know how all of my defenses are like my I'm gonna have some regenerators of like certain walls like I don't want to show you guys all those defenses because I don't want to you know I don't want to make it too easy on you guys oh I did this wrong um, is this even oh I messed up already let me fix this real quickly oh that's sad I gotta put this here. There we go. And I misplaced one. <laughs> Embarrassing. All right. So basically, you guys get the idea. I'm gonna pause the video right here really quickly just to do this off of camera, and then we'll continue on with the video in one second. And we are back. All right, guys. So I have the basic layout for how I want the chest to be. I'm actually gonna do the rest of the inside of this room a little bit later because I'm not going to be showing you guys on that all on camera because it is a little boring. But uh, let's yeah, let's start this out. So I'm gonna have, I have obsidian or not obsidian. I have uh, cobblestone walls there. I'm gonna release that in for why I have cobblestones there later in a probably another f future video unless you guys get enough likes on this video and I'll release the coordinates as soon as I can. But basically, all right. So let's ignore this room right now. But that's our main goal is to prevent or to prevent people from getting into basically getting into this layer inside so all of my prop 4 all of my sharp 5 weapons they're all basically going to be in this little room and let's imagine this guys all right let's take a step back from this from this obsidian wall to this obsidian wall all the way up to the ceiling is going to be all defenses so this is going to be basically the ultimate vault well slash not really ultimate but I mean it's gonna be one of the best vaults you can have right now as time progresses it'll be a little bit easier slash home vault it'll be a little bit easier for me to actually uh, change these and make it almost like a um, unraidable vault but I'm not gonna that's gonna take some time because the obsidian blocks that I do place I'm gonna slowly be replacing them with uh, bedrock which is from the donation kits and I don't have much of that right now I think I have let me check F home let's check how many we have so far I think we have I think 10 10 pieces at the last I checked this morning I had 10 pieces another so we have 12 pieces of bedrock so far so yeah we're still collecting that up but yeah you guys are going to get the main idea of how to make this actual base i'm going to set a home out here so if you guys do start rating this i'll be able to repair stuff as i go so set home vault to oh vault out so i have a home set inside and then a home set here so what i'm going to want to do all right so as this so this is our main outside layer actually i'm going to make this layer three thick Let's go three thick. Yeah, I'm going to lead a, a lot of obsidian, guys. So if you guys do play on the MCMMO server and you want to sell me some obsidian and try to, you know, try to help me out with my quest for an unraidable vault, make sure you PM me to sell me some stacks of obsidian. And yeah, so this is going to be, so there's my inside. I'm going to have, let's say, 
I don't know. I haven't really fully decided on what I want yet. Let's have a... I'm going to have a quadruple layer of obsidian. Let's do that. So this is going to take some time. It's going to take some help from the community as well. Because I'm not going to be mining all this obsidian by myself. But uh, yeah, I'm going to slowly... Oh god, I didn't think this through. Uh, let's see. I'm going to slowly be... Building this up. Alright, so the main idea is... This is going to be the impenetrable well not impenetrable right now but it will be so all this will slowly be changed i'm probably not even going to do uh all three layers as bedrock as i do get those in i'm probably just going to do um the outside like these these two layers right here one two so these two layers right here are going to be just obsidian but up to four layers so then you, you guys will have some a, a tough time let's just say you guys are going to have a tough time breaking through if you can manage if you can manage to get through I, i'm going to applaud you and you know what? I'll, I'll just give you my vault i'll let you guys have this vault if you can rate it the only thing is you guys cannot I, I repeat you guys cannot use any form of ender pearl glitching i know those are out there so don't try to ender pearl gl glitch don't try to tp glitch where you like you do your little lava tricks don't do that like i want a legitimate attempt at actually um actually trying to raid this base like legit like just with you know with tnt cannons with hybrid cannons i'm not going to teach you guys how to do those there's several videos on youtube uh, i'm not going to go waste my time and uh actually sell or not sell but teach you guys how to make those how to make those types of vaults but you know we'll, we'll slowly get there you know if you guys can't make it inside i i will be truly impressed and yeah so let's make it this high for now and um oh and this over the past two weeks or i think this week uh no craft suggested that we add the jelly legs plugin or not really a plugin but it's a perk for all of our servers so if you can see i'm not in god mode i'll show you guys i'll do slash god it's enabled and it's disabled right so uh, the the jelly legs perk makes it so that you take no fall damage whatsoever so if i jump off i don't know exactly how high i am but if i jump off boom no fall damage. As you can see, we still have that weird plug-in in, but if you punch it, it just goes away. As you can see, I fell from that high up, and there was no fall damage whatsoever. So yeah, let's get this started. So I'm just gonna, basically going to... You see the main idea I'm going to do. I'm going to build this all the way straight up. Do I have a lot of obsidian left? I'll have enough to finish this wall. Uh, I'll have... So basically, I'm going to build this all the way straight up into the sky. It's going to take a bunch of obsidian. I'm saying a bunch, and I am not even exaggerating but this is going to take some help from you guys so if you do guys if you guys have any spare obsidian that you guys are not using please message me on factions dream this is going to be a, probably a two or three long um two or three long or two or three weeks journey of making this vault fully and uh if that gets done t who's blue swag who is blue swag tpa blue devils so he's got a stack of obsidian for me. So I'm slowly just going to build up until he accepts that TP. Thank you, Blue Swag, Blue Devils 401. Thank you for donating. Or not really donating, but thank you for donating in this quest for my obsidian slash bedrock vault. Oh, God, there are pigmen spawning here. What is this? Um, I'll, yeah, so he'll TP me when he's ready. So, yeah, as you can see, people do trust me enough to TP me to their their bases, etc. I don't look at cords when I help people with bases because I don't think that's a right thing to do. He gave me a sec, so pay blue devils, 15,000. Thank you, sir. Buying 25 stacks of obsidian, 15k each. PM me, please. Alright, so that's two walls down. This is going to take some time, guys. Alright, so you get you basically get the main idea of what I'm going to have in the inside of this base. Alright, so I'm going to do this last. Actually, I want to finish this on camera just to show that you guys, I am legit. I play legit on Faction Screen, and that's the only reason why I'm the only admin who could basically play because, you know, they trust me enough to not be, like, spawning shit in. So, yeah. So, the Pello, who's got TPA Brandon? So Brandon's got three stack, two stacks and 55 for me. I'll pay him for the full three stacks. That's fine. It's no big deal for me. Money comes easily with an iron golem farm, guys. If you guys have not checked out my past videos, watch that video, guys. It really helps on making those 
So she's got a nice space here. Look at this, guys. So pay Brandon 45k. Thank you, sir. Slash back. All right, I'm still up here. Oh, I can keep going. I don't even need to get stuff from my F home just yet. So keep on selling me these obsidian stack guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, how many? How many do I need now? Let's say I bought three just now. So let's say 22. Buying 22 stacks of obsidian. PM me please. All right, I'm gonna finish this entire row for you guys, and then I'll do that row off camera. But <clears throat> Well, basically, this is going to be a two or three part video series. I don't want to make these videos too long. So if I suddenly do cut out, uh, make sure you guys tune in the next day or the next day and a half. And then I'll continue on with this uh, vault. What's it called? This vault tutorial of how to make basically an unrateable vault in the nether. I want to show you my video so far, but I don't want you to get the cords. Tell corn. I don't look at cords when I TP to people's bases. Alright, so let's move this here. So yeah, the thing is guys, some people do have trust issues. I mean, it's it's really not too big of a deal. But yeah, I do understand that some people might not trust me TPing to their base. So th that's no big deal. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. I'm not asking you to. Um, if, I, if you do TP me to your base though, I'm personally not going to save your cords. I wouldn't say the same thing about my brother Insanity because he is his own player. He's not, um, what's it called? He's 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 a, he's a player, so like I mean, he's like a normal member on the server. So if you TP him to your base, he has full rights to set a home there. So don't blame me. I don't force TP to people's bases to raid them. That's not that's not my type of game, guys. Um, I don't know exactly how long this video is so far. So yeah, once again, if I do cut off, I'll continue on with the series in a later video. Let's, uh, yeah. Um, who had three stacks for me? I forgot. Oh, nobody yet. That, they already sold it to me. I'm having, I have a short-term memory loss, guys. All right, there's four walls there. Three more. Actually, I'm going to try to do this all at once. I'm going to go bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, corn. I am recording. I don't read. LOL. TPA corn. Do, 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 do. So yeah, see, corn PVP is one of those people who, who you know, they if they uh, TP people to their bases, it's it's really hard for them to trust people. So I don't I don't abuse my admin tag and make you guys TP to me. Um, oh, thank you for asking. D oh that Arsenal guy, I have to fix some packs. User Arsenal group set default. You could raid me, but if you TP, you can't raid me. Um, okay, so let's go. Oh, I don't have permission for that. Tell Corn, meet me at spawn then. I need to go. Oh, I don't want to lose this. No, it's fine. It's no big deal. I'll just catch up with that, those two rows. So let's go F home. Need to grab um, spawn. Where is Corn? No, I'll just TP him to me. I hope you guys don't mind this. I'm going to TP corn to me because I am at spawn TP here. Corn PVP. There we go. All right. I hope he doesn't mind that. Um, let's wait. Corn, how many stacks do you have? Oh, I thought he was still. You were selling me obsidian. I guess he wasn't selling me obsidian. <laughs> oh, all right, that's awkward. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to dig into my nether nether thingy over here and get some. So let's just grab these stacks now, I guess. Uh, back. I don't know. Um, home vault. Oh, great. I'll just do cobblestone here. Cobble. Do, 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 do. Uh, to XV Nitro, what's the fastest way to get your repair skill up? The fastest way to get your repair skill up is to uh, level it up via repairing iron armor. So, like, go PvP and kill people and take their iron armor and repair it at 
an anvil at your place. So yeah, I have a high level MC top. I have a high level of repair, and that's the only reason how I got that in such of a high repair level, just because I uh, I kill people PVPing, and then I just repair their armor. It's it's free. It's basically free to to uh, make and repair their armor. So yeah, that's why that's what I do. So let, let me continue with this wall real quickly. And um, so I'm gonna just briefly talk about what the future plans of this defense is going to be as I climb this uh, obsidian wall here so basically let's talk let's talk a little guys let's talk a little so basically what I'm going to plan on doing let's take a bird's eye view of everything so here's going to be a four thick layer of obsidian so we're going to have one two three four I'm going to claim this entire land and a little bit of the outside too so it'll give you guys a little bit challenge with um, actually making or actually trying to raid and you know what I'm going to put a couple sets I'm going to enchant a couple a couple of uh, prot four sets I'm going to get grab a couple bedrock kits and put you guys in here as the, those cooldowns do wear off and uh, I'll give you I'll put those in the chest so if you guys do manage to raid this vault then you know kudos to you and uh, congratulations and I'll uh, yeah you'll be re rewarded greatly so let me TP to blue devils again he's got another stack of obsidian for me pay blue devils 15,000 Thank you, sir. Blue Devils 411 donating me. Well, not really donating, but selling me another stack of obsidian. 